rights into the scope and opportunities of higher studies in the USA. The topic of immense importance for our aspiring students. To start off, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed guest, Dr. M. Chaudhary Sir, a distinguished faculty member of civil engineering at Texas A&M University. Dr. Chaudhary Sir's extensive knowledge and experience in this field will undoubtedly provide us with the wealth of information and guidance. It is my great honor to introduce our distinguished speaker, Sir Today. Dr. A. M. Chaudhary Sir, his illustrious career in civil engineering is a testament to his dedication, expertise and passion for his field. Dr. Chaudhary Sir began his academic journey with a bachelor's degree in civil engineering from BNIT Nagpur in the year 1988. He then pursued a master's degree in structural engineering from ANU Aligarh, which he completed in 1993. In 1992, Dr. Chaudhary was selected for a PhD program at Texas a and University. But his journey took an unexpected turn when his visa was denied. Then he joined Delhi College of Engineering as a part-time faculty member in 1993. The following year, he continued to flourish as he joined NERISD Itanagar in 1996 and then NIT Sager in 1997. It means Sir is our uh, past faculty member as well. And NIT Sager to play a significant role as the academic officer for the first three consecutive convocations. In 2010, Dr. Chaudhary Sir achieved a significant milestone by earning his PhD in Structural Engineering from IIT Guwahati. His academic journey took him to the United States in the year 2015, where he joined AM University at Houston, Texas. Sir's excellence in teaching was recognized in the year 2022 when he received the Best Teacher Award across the entire university. He has an impressive list of publications, including articles in top journals such as Engineer Structures of Elsewhere. Currently, he is actively involved in two research projects, projects under the National Science Foundation and the Before we begin today, I would like to invite the PIC Sir of Training and Placement Cell uh, to felicitate our uh, guest today, that is Dr. Chaudhary Sir, as our token of appreciation. Sir, I request you to please do the honor. Professor Sir. Students on the topic of scope and opportunities of higher studies in USA. Thank you. Good evening to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to come back to this institute. In fact, I served this institute for 17 years. And just even recent that. Apart from that, I serve three fellows institutes of India, that is IIT Delhi, sorry not IIT Delhi, Delhi College of Engineering, then I went to Bombay University and the Bombay University, one of the college, then there is, and then finally I moved to my own home state, Assam, and then obviously there is more journey in the and always the same time came when I moved to the United States. So, as I said, it is my pleasure to look to all of you. And I'm so happy for the welcome what you have given on this particular occasion. I know that I'm speaking to the most experienced student of this institute. Just to start with the speech, I think are you beautiful? Thank you. So most of you are from Kari, there's a proper time for you to talk. How many of you are from Master degree? No Master degree? How many of you are from PhD? Okay, some PhD people are sitting in the back. Good. Good. 
So this I need to find what domain is, what level, and what level I should make my speech limiter. To start with, I'm saving my topic, as you can see, study a prospective career for enlightened minds. And this is my right now, I'm associate professor in the university. And of course, when I moved from the United States, I was associate professor here. Only three or four years left to become a professor. But when I migrated to the United States, actually I got with my green card, so I had to start my career again. And I had to build my credentiality there again and throw a letter. Of course, now I used to be associate professor, the same level from when I left from India. So now, another thing is, it was already mentioned that the highest achievement in that university was I received the, the uh, best teachers award in the year 2022. And that was a real pleasure for me. You know, in the United States, the people are connected from various forms of the globe. Every country's people are represented, people are there, and even the faculty also from every country people are there. So it was really, when I achieved, I was so happy, and I realized that possibly this is the best day of my life. Coming back, I already completed total 20 years in India. 20 years, last around 10 years going to be in the United States. So that is almost 30 years of teaching. When I say this in the first semester to my student of the class, I say 30 years, students become a bit astonished. Then I say, if you have any doubt, my beer is the witness for 30 years of my teaching. Then I first said, it was initially white, but my wife liked to see me as a young person, so she likes this to be made red. And that is the story one my beer is red. Anyway, so you may have any question, but I'm not sure we have right now. So this is what is the, the topic I have selected. I know many people are aspiring, and those who are sitting assuming that you have a hope, a mission, and aspiration for that. With this, I have presented this. So, my next slide. Uh, slightly, it's not adjusted. Anyway, the topmost is not coming in the Canada. So, this is the city of Paraisal, is the city of Lhasa. And you know that history is famous for Lhasa. And this is a great hero standing in front of Lhasa's. Lhasa's main satellite. People say this was the first satellite which landed on board. But when I visited, I had a doubt. Because how this can be brought? There is no airport, no aeronaut in front of Lhasa. That was my question actually. I don't know how they managed to commit. And so with a great hero, another small hero is standing, you can see. So this is our Lhasa is very famous to us. My university is only one hour away from Lhasa. Now this PPT is in the form of Q&A covering the answer of most common in order to encourage them for higher study in the United States. Now to me, I am a professor in India, college in one hand, and in other hand, guardian of three engineers. Two are already master, my two elder sons, working and one studying in fine India. So I have seen the pros and cons on both the sides being a guardian, being a professor. So both the things that I've seen in the United States, even though my journey is only for 10 years, but this was the time where I have seen everything as a student's side, as a professor's side, so everything I have done. Now this is actually, this article is for those who are aspiring to pursue my study abroad, especially in the United States and Canada. The article is presented in the form of question and answer, it discusses about the benefits of studying in US and Canada, the freedom of the immigrants, and the chances of job opportunity after completion of degree. It also focuses on why there are so less people from Assam in the USA. Finally, the detailed process of applying in the universities has been outlined. If you get inspired after reading my article, and if you need any my help, you can communicate with me through my email address given above or below over there. Fairview and University is one in which a lot of students from Indian subcontinent come every year for higher study. Kindly refer your students to explore PBME for their higher study. Do you know this couple? Anybody know this couple? Just have a look. This is Dr. Shaheen Uruguay, 
Guru Yuga Shaheen at the age of 55 and his wife, scientist Oslin Turesi, 53 years old. Immigrants from Turkey, settled in Japan, who gifted them one of the best vaccines, P. Pfizer COVID-19. I know in India it was, what was India vaccine? <laughs> but in the United States and most of the country that we used to go for P. Pfizer. There are two alcoholics, and another is P. Pfizer. We all have taken P. Pfizer. So these are the team who gifted the best vaccine to the world. They are not in the USA. They are the immigrant from the sick men of Europe, Turkey. And you can think that if they would have been born and brought up and nurtured in Turkey, possibly they would not get the mice home. Because Turkey is a sick man of Europe. So when they reached to the German, this couple, husband and wife scientist him, gifted the war with the best gift of that time. So what is my focus on that? The focus is that when a person immigrates to a different country, he or she always struggles. And this is not only for Dr. Shaheen, it's for every immigrant I can testify, I can certify by my tenure's experience in the United States, especially in Texas, that immigrants are always in the so this is an encouraged thing, and they will not ask a question that you are not the son of the soil. There is nothing disparity in those countries. So these are the countries. Now the question that I told I started with Q and A. Another one, these are the general question marks. In fact, this article was published in one of the magazine. I have written this article. So what is the chance of a student from India for getting a job in USA after completing his degree? Sometime, but finally they become citizens of the United States. The immigrants from Brazil is high when they get the facility of developed countries. The figure given above is the proof of that, and they can prove that really immigrants shine. Not the salary of a bachelor degree holder in the United States. The average annual salary is dollar seventy thousand. We can we say seventy k. And starting with bachelor's degree in engineering, with a conversion factor of 83 per dollar, it is about 60 lakhs per year, this is average. With master's degree, this may be as high as 150k. So if it is 150k, that means this may be around 121, 30 lakhs in Indian currency. Does everyone get a job in the United States? With the high economic condition of the country, almost everyone gets a job which is relevant to his field of study after completion of four years bachelor's degree. It's like I said my own experience. My first son graduated three years back. When he graduated from Texas A&M University in Western Engineering, he had three job offers. So he preferred to stay in Houston. When my second son graduated with computer engineering and electrical from St. Texas a and he got four offers of the job. And finally he joined TI, Texas Instrument Edition, one of the famous companies which supplies the all over the globe, TI84, TI85, and different users. My third son, who is right now doing his bachelor's in civil engineering, completed third year. It is in Texas Tech Lava, that another University of Texas famous. And he actually completed third year. He is doing an internship with the famous company known as Jacobs. The same company possibly offered a job. And by that time, we have possibly four or five job offers. And obviously, I would like to say that joining my hometown of Houston. So there is a chance that always <clears throat> I have the experience of this country. So first job I got in Delhi, there was no other place. If I go to Delhi, I don't have any other option, I have to stay in Delhi. But here there are four or five chances. You can prefer your own city, you can prefer your own place. Of, so because you have many options. So this is origin that those who are from US citizens, <coughs> US immigrants. Then, of course, those who go from these countries, maybe slight less, but the number which was four, maybe three for the immigrants. So, but there are more multiple options available. Another fact I can see most of you are bachelors doing, so you have one for master degree. So, even though my slide doesn't cover that, I'd like to share that in master degree, always there is an opportunity for Indian student. I am teaching for 10 years, I was exposed for many years here. And I have seen there are three courses of structural analysis SA1, SA2, SA3. I teach in the American University also structural analysis, only one course. There are two courses of
Everything also behind them. They give more courses for like US government, US politics, ethics. Their thinking is that a person apart from becoming an Indian should become a good citizen of the country. So almost 40 to 50 percent of the syllabus to make the person a good citizen. Then 40 to 50 percent for engineering, which we do not follow yet. That's why we have three steps in our system. So knowledge wise, I can say we have a broader scope of getting more and more knowledge. And then with this accumulated knowledge, when somebody opts for master's degree, and then those American students also come for that, their foundation is not strong like you will start with them. So obviously, when running for the master degree, those who are from India, they have an upper level base. And they are the top person in the university. So there is another thing is that many of the bachelors from the United States, they move for their job. Most of the US people doesn't like other education standard. They feel bachelor is enough. So after that, they move for job. So the master degree is left only for immigrants, foreigners, and some US people. So when the people from other countries go and they complete their master degree, obviously there is a better chance of doing a good result. PhD, there is a good result. Most of the there is a good result. So that's why I strongly encourage for master degree, not for master degree. Of course, all are sitting for master degree. So there is no question of measures making the picture. So that is my answer. Does everyone get a job in USA? Next. Which degree of India is most potential for higher study in USA? In USA, all bachelor's degrees are four years. So Indian engineering bachelor's degree is best suitable for MS program in USA. Others have a master only can think about MS in USA. Of course, they will get some advanced credits for MS. At MS, they may get scholarship and assistantship, but at bachelor's, there is no scholarship and assistantship given to the foreigner. So no person from a marriage family of India comes for bachelor's degree. Hence, it is advisable to apply for masters. I think this is clear to me. If you go for bachelor's, the expenditure is so high. Project, they get the assistantship, the other sort of things, the tuitions and all these things. So this is a golden opportunity at the masters. Your financial support is by, supported by this, and then it becomes easier to get a visa. Because US government makes their financial aid to be stable, your sponsors should be strong, either university or yourself. So university can support, obviously, and that is only available in master's level. Master's of PhD or graduate study, any of that, we call graduate studies. Can everyone practice their religion free, freely in USA? In Indian country, this is a good question for all of us. Yes, US is a 100% secular country. Every university provides a shelter for religious practice known as all faith chapel, where even one can practice his own religion. That's inside the university campus, you have an all faith chapel, any religion, anyone is most welcome to do his religion or her religious practice, and there is 100 percent secular, nothing like bias to any particular religion, that is what is we call him as secular. And then why people of Assam, even though I know in the United States comprising of value, the target was because this NIT is in Assam, so I just took Assam's case, <clears throat> are rarely represented for study in the US. Uh, at least when I meet the people in Houston, I say I'm from Assam, many people say that you are the first person I met from Assam. So this is such a low population from Assam. Uh, maybe Assam is far away from New Delhi, where the US embassy lies. Second reason may be, Assamese people are not subject in nature, scared to go away from home, they are more interested to get Tamil than Tamil. They are afraid this Tamil and Tamil and Tamil. Maybe that's one of the reasons. So you will find many people from Hyderabad and US, they have the counseling center which makes their reach to the US center easy. However, now due to Rajani Express of Guwahati, New Delhi is not far away. So once we used to say Delhi rulers about Tamil and Tamil, Delhi is very close to us. So, uh, moreover, from New York, there is a direct flight to New Delhi. So if a person from Assam goes for a job in USA, he can visit Assam on a regular basis. So, basically, US will be far away from Assam. And university fee in USA. The admission test is maybe GRE at 12. And the fees are, these are around $1.75 each. 
I just took from my channel, it is lying in higher lower days, but do not be drastically high. Similarly, the fee for applying in university is also around $1.75. But if someone requests to university for a fee waiver, then university may waive this fee. Nowadays, because of email and everything, it's very easy. Next day, you're When I tried the year 1991 or 2, there was no email. So obviously, the hard thing was that. When I was in that days, there was no video, nothing else. I remember those days I used to go on the terrace of the university and in the dividing into two semesters. Students should decide which intake season they want to choose, fall or spring. Those students who are planning to go to personal or graduate or graduate level courses should know that timelines for semester uh, for September, I just took that date, 2029, but that date is same because I got latest internet 2029 something. So these, the, actually the student goes mostly in the fall. International student goes in fall. Fall means start from August. Now at my semester in, we start from August. So some of the universities where the houses of Indian people are born. And they have a recognition. That's why when they see the Indian application, definitely it is a good recognition. We'd like to bring those people. So in Texas, I will bring that also in action. Uh, what is the criteria? Along with that, a minimum academic record of 65% or above for humanities and 70 to 80 percent and above for science commerce, and around 60 percent and more for the engineering students, we say GPA. I think in our case GPA is here, also, right? Is the GPA you follow or not the percentage system? GPA. So if someone is having more than three GPA, then obviously three means out of five scale I'm speaking. So if so you have to four. We say A is equal to 4, B is equal to 3, C is equal to 2, D is equal to 1, below that F. So these are the general grades in the university. So if your grade is more than B, that is more than 3, I think you are most welcome in applying to the university. So GPA plays a role definitely. But of course, the first to university or university you can check before applying what is the requirement of that. So this is the, some of the things I have noted that one of the various things needed for GRE, GMAT, 2FL, all these things are actually needed for a life. And then, other things, as much as you have, the recommendations letter is good, but minimum three recommendations letters are needed. The professors who start it, of course, go to an optimistic professor, do not go to a pessimistic professor. Because there are some people in the world, whatever is your level of achievement, they will say something. So you should identify the professors. <clears throat> I write recommendations for some of my students, even those who are in bachelor's and here. One of my students from this year, this college, her name is Sristi Energy. She has done the project under me in final year. Then Sristi moved to Canada, where I moved to USA. Then from there, Sristi actually asked one of my latest research. I referred as my new mind. So that is another way the student and teacher, the reversal of process goes on. So this is a, you take the recommendation from optimistic teachers of this. Uh, so these are, I try to answer some common questions. Of course, these are not sufficient, I know, because if I start processing everything, these are some of the websites, some of the links where you can get. I already kept this all one here. So if anyone is interested, these links you can click. For example, here, what are the various things? How to get a of recommendation? Click this link, you get everything. Statement of purpose is very important. Resuming, essays, and all these things are very important. Here, the essays, they actually ask mostly, they tell about yourself. And how you are writing, I prefer that after your writing, give this a checking to an English person, which is an English man. So before selling it, anything, Give it, get it checked by a professor of English, or there are nowadays paraphrase also there. In the website, if you go, you get paraphrase. So give to the paraphrase, they will provide a better English. So like this, make your English perfect before selling. And by the essay, while talking about yourself, they check your grammar, they check your English, they check your understanding, everything is getting reflected through this. Many people from India have said, what the I know this three professor in IIT Guwahati, whose PhD is from Texas, because my PhD is from IIT Guwahati. So three professors at least I 
Similarly, Texas and then college station is the main Texas capital there and there. And so other universities of Texas is that we talk about that. So here I'm focusing on what about Texas. Many people of India, they know only about Michigan. Michigan is a place where life is a bit cheap, people think that it's the best place. So general target of Indian people, if you ask your senior, there is a Michigan, I would say no. Texas is far, far better. The state which is the most developing state. So one of the credentials I can tell you, if you go to Michigan, New York, they have big public transport system. Every individual doesn't have the capability to purchase their own car. Texas is the state where everyone has own car. By my 10 years life, only one day I use public transport. The rest of my life, my three sons says there are three cars, I am having my own car. So everyone needs their own car, and Texas is a state. So therefore, Texas is a state, it is a resource state. It is unlike Michigan, unlike New York. People may think that we get the Bengali culture, we get the Indian culture, New York, Michigan. I don't say, don't say that culture is everything. So obviously, if you have somebody washing your brain, the only New York in Michigan is the choice. I say, no, Texas make the first choice because Let's see that Texas is the second largest state in the United States by land area after Alaska. Do you know about Alaska? What is, how is Alaska weather? <laughs> Texas is the largest state. Now, if you forget about Alaska, I will say Texas is the largest state. It is an area of 261,000 square miles of land and 7,300 square miles of water. Rajasthan is the largest state of India in terms of area, which covers 12,122,845 miles square of land area. Bangladesh has an area of 53.57,000 square miles. Now, if you calculate how many times Rajasthan is Texas from country Bangladesh, just think about it. So, this is a state which is five times bigger than the country. How about the weather of Texas? The beauty of Texas is that it is very similar. And it is not so hot, not so hot, just like it. So basically, I enjoy it. There was no change of my weather condition when I moved to Texas. Had it been New York, very tough weather. I had very, very cold, possibly it was shivering weather. So, weather wise, I would say that for India, it is the finest country, very similar to most states of India. And now we talk about Texas A&M University system. As I told that Texas A&M College Station is the largest house, which accommodated most Indians. Most Indians. For masters, you will find many Indians are there. They have a reputation that Indians is a good reputation. So obviously, if someone is from India, their reputation gets a prioritization. So the Texas A&M University system is a large, higher education system that includes 11 universities. So all over the Texas, 11 a &M systems, it is a system of university, the head, a health science center and eight state agencies. The system was founded in 1948 and is headquartered in College Station, Texas. This is the main campus. The system's flagship university is Texas a &M University and the other universities are regional schools across the state. The Texas a &M University College of Engineering offers several graduate degrees, other graduate degrees, and certificate through our 15 departments. So in engineering college, there are 15 departments. Uh, many Indians every year join Texas a &M University. The other one is Texas Tech University plan. So the other one where a lot of Indians are there, and as I told them, where already students are there. They make a reputation. And that's why that university gives an extra meeting to both countries together. So that's why the people already from India they have bigger recognition. And this university will be definitely given meetings to India. So therefore the other one is Texas Tech University Lama. So I will tell these are the two famous universities and good universities. The Lama University give a lot of scholarship. They have a lot of scholarship. And they have also a lot of scholarship. Other universities, Texas and Texas Southern Universities. The Texas Arlington University and the Dallas University. So, the Texas A&M University system campuses, Texas A&M University, Bryan College Station, 
Texas A&M Redis, Bellevue A&M University, where I am studying this in my books. Texas A&M University Commerce, uh, Tarleton State University, some of this I edited here, and first in Texas. Texas A&M opened in 1876 as the state's first public institution of higher learning. Today, we are a research intensive university dedicated to sending leaders all into the world prepared for the most challenges. Final goal of our university, including our history, leadership, mission, and values. This is our remote Texas A&M University. This is the main campus, one institution. Uh, and as I was talking about coming to the sub campus, some campuses are there, LA University Brand, Police Station, then Texas AM Redis, then University Bellevue, and then the next one is Texas AM University Commerce, then Tramiton State University, then West Texas AM University Kenyon, Texas AM University Kingsway, Texas AM University Corpus Christi. Texas a &M International University, Laredo, Texas a &M University, Texas Canada, Texas a &M University, Central Texas City, Texas a &M University, San Antonio, and our previous my universities, which is one of that, out of all that I just mentioned, my university is very good and very university. As I told that, our university has also a lot of people from outside, Bangladesh, from, from India, from Pakistan, from all these Asian countries, one of you are there. So, uh, this is the website of the I have given here. If you go to the website, you will be able to know more and more about my university. Uh, this is one of the, I have taken from the websites general of the city here. We have a lot of colleges, a lot of curriculums. Here, if you go to the College of Engineering, you get ideas about the College of Engineering. You see that so many things are there. Of course, I'm speaking in engineering college, so my only Thing is the other things about coming. You know that we have all universities, everything is there. Just like there is an ALE, EHU, if you go, everything is there. So here also, everything is there at the same time, the same time. So we follow the same time, same time. And then, this is my College of Engineering, where in a and College of Engineering system. And just some of the things we have civil. We don't have 15, of course. We have civil, electrical, and computer. We have mechanical, we have uh, chemical, and other sort of things. This is our new engineering college building, where the governor of Texas came to inaugurate the building two years back, and it is having the state of art. Everything is there. It was built at a cost of $70 million. $70 million is a big amount. So the $70 million was the cost. We have the new robotics building, automated buildings, in civil, very, very high level labs we have. We have a structure research right here. Just now, since I came in here, we have a plan to collaborate with the Texas AM by using the structure lab while we have the same facility of IIT Kohati. In IIT Kohati structure lab, we have a strong flow, we have a radiation wall, and we have a, we have a actuator. Back to the of this and me, we are doing music together. So he knows my name, but I know. IIT Kohati, IIT Kohati. So he has visited, frequently visited, used to visit my lab. So what facilities there in IIT Kohati, the same actuators and everything we have also in the modern lab. Two days back only there was a team visit from Texas and They were having to collaborate with us, Texas and The dollar 70 million, 106,000 square foot building, is the sixth edition of the Ryan G. Perry College of Engineering Complex. This is the name of our College of Engineering Complex and the college's first new facility. And of course, <laughs> this is the new engineering college, another new building. And of course, uh, I'm not going further here because I know the time is exceeding. So, with this, I just come to the almost the end. I know some of you have many questions in your mind. So, obviously, if anyone is having any question or any more, I am happy to reply to you. I know that if I were here in this college, you would have been my school. So, I assume that all of you are my next generation virtual students. Virtual students, right? So, with this expectation, you are free to ask me anything you like. Give me some insights about the university and the ESA back.
ask Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, and uh, like around DJ, Boston, or yeah, what you have to ask is a very good question. But you know that obviously, to me, it was a focus first my university, right? So I focused my university system, and only in that process I focused my state, Texas, and everything. But of course, that's not what you can say. What I'd like to is a very good question to ask you today. Because you are in a laboratory that you are going for, if you are thinking yours is post-doctorate. Post-doctorate is very narrow. So, you, while coming to your PhD's publication and everything, you may be looking to the reference sets. In those reference sets, you may be looking at the publication to some of the professors who are working in your field. I would like to suggest you pinpoint those professors of your field. And if you find any professor from the U.S. University, obviously the U.S. will be there, you personally communicate to that professor. So, for example, in the civil department, we are not a PhD program yet. In my, this is a matrix assignment. We have a master's program. But we have a PhD program. There is a professor, Dr. Kamalapati from India, he's a top researcher in the civil department. So, because the university didn't publish for PhD, but in his own capability, he is guiding three postdoctorates. Just he doesn't have PhD, but postdoctorate is there. So, my uh, suggestion to you, wherever you see that your publication of the field, obviously you are doing intelligence survey, everything is there. So, of your field, go to the micro level, email to that professor, ask him, do you have any opportunity? And that will be the good way for you to select. So, that is the high risk you select some of the universities, then do the screening, screening from there, and you make a final confinement to four, five, six universities. And like this for your postdoctoral research. Is that answering the question? Thank you so much. Sure. Any of the passport being relatively easy in a candidate? Green card, since you asked me this question, let me share that experience. But I would not like to make you pay for less. While creating the green card, for example, this for example, we have done master degree from US. They have given the time for three years or two years. You can stay after your degree for one year, two years, different visa categories. For, for example, the least one is one. So within one year, you have a demand from you are from master degree holder, you are from India. So within one year, I can say that 99% chance you get it. So after getting the job, if it is a job like government universities, or the, there is also government department, so then they will start processing. Even a private company will start processing apply for your green cards. The company will sponsor that this person should have a green card, and that is the way visa status will change. Now we have the number of countries. They treat every country as one. India is one unit. Maybe your population is one unit. So how many countries? Bangladesh is another unit with population that we are referring to. China is also like that. So, they will take 100 applications from India, 100 from Bangladesh, 100 from China. In that process, what will happen? The people who are applying from India, they are, they are in queue and their green card numbers may come after 15 years. China also may come after 15 years. Bangladesh may come after 7 years, 8 years. There is nothing to be frustrated about that. Since you raise this question, let me share something else. A person who is going and joining a job, maybe he is a single person at that time. But when he joins a job, gets seven guys, obviously his lunch will get his lunch right? His spouse will be there after a few weeks. His child will be there after a few weeks. So if there is a spouse, and after that he get a child, that child who is coming will be the youngest citizen. It is nothing like that his father came before 1947 or 1971. Nothing like that. 100% is the US citizen. So, yeah. Yeah. So, he can, will be getting every facilities. So, if he is getting every facility, they have this facility for the child. And so, you mentioned that you have to do the uh, I think some other people may have a question. We are passing the time. Thank you so much. But uh, I will be glad. My email is there. Whatever is the question, ask about the email. 
Because if the time is going, then you will have the intuition. So I have answered three of the intuition. Let other people come. Once they are over, I will ask you again. Okay. So anybody else from others? Yes, please go. Sir, my name is Shandi. I'm an earlier undergraduate student of Kennedy Center. Sir, I want to ask you that uh, what are the current trends of civil engineering in USA and how can students prepare to be at the forefront of these trends? It's a very good question, you know, from civil engineering and also from civil engineering. Uh, right now, all of the recently the road has been passed by government. Because of recent some of the hurricanes, one after another and everything, we are seriously need of civil and I will state that some computer was much in, some other computer type one, some other body one. But this is a big time in Texas, in Houston, all over the US. Within one or three years, we will have short of seven years. So if there is short of seven years, obviously you can understand how the price is. So seven years is at a big level. Within one or two or three or five years, if you are hoping, we are uh, for civil engineering, master's degree, we are having. I can say almost 100% guaranteed here. Because we have a lot of crisis in the years. My student who passed from Texas, he being a in your city. Last time so far, I know everybody has three to four developers. So because there is a big crisis in the city right now. So this is the best time for civil engineers. So you may, I'm not discussing the other engineers, but civil is a good time right now. Others are of course never been. The Texas is a state where also chemicals are at night time. So any of the launch of engineering, obviously after crossing the night, in certain I can say that you will get two to three jobs at this once you have done the research. Does it answer your question? Sure. Sir, do you see any role of uh, emerging technologies like AI, machine learning, and uh, data, data science? Uh, to transform the civil engineering industry over the next 10 decades in USA? What you ask that is perfectly correct, but always I say civil engineering is not microscopic, it's a macroscopic. We have the visualization, practical things are happening in front of us. What you are thinking, that some, even though are thinking like this, but all the big civil engineers we discover, they actually have uh, visualize things, but simulation remains in the field of simulation. But while constructing everything, we become practical science engineers, and we are more concerned about the science. Simulation and other things are virtual things. The real things is one is something different. So I don't think that uh, the uh, making computerization and all these things will make civil engineering to a much more higher level. What we have, we need to follow the trend. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank Anybody you. else has any other question? Okay. My name is Sarkhu Kutte. I am from the third year from the civil department. So my question is that, uh, so what are the major challenges we face when we apply for uh, in universities in USA? Sir, and sir, how we can work them there? Yes, that's a very good question. Even I was puzzled also the same question. Why the why? Uh, I would say that there are some very top universities. For example, Texas, in Texas, Austin University is a very top university. Another private university is Nice University. MIT is high level, then uh, Stanford. So they actually goes behind the reputation. If someone is from IIT Delhi, they know IIT Delhi is very high level. He can or she can try for Stanford, can try for MIT and all these Georgia Tech, all these fellows, I believe in universities. They can try. For the person who is from MIT Central, I would say they go for every universities. Do not think about very high universities. So once you are getting admission in a university, you have a fair chance of getting the scholarship. You have a fair chance of getting assistance. What the US embassy looks to you while giving the visa. You should not be a burden to the US government. So while after going, two things they want to be asserting. One is that financially you are supporting yourself, either by sponsor from your university or you the sound of a big shop. So if you have university sponsors, everything like one part by scholarship, another part by all this, uh, like assistance and other things. So your sponsor will become strong. Another thing is that the type of interview they want to be sure enough that you, after the completion of the degree, will come back from that. Even though they know that this degree will be saved. 
But they want to see from your inner heart what is going to apply. Various way they ask the question. So that eventually if you say that I have one step, you have to serve it. There are tendencies that after getting you need to come back. After going there, you may change your mind, that's not a problem. But why going, never by mistake, if you are a clinic that is like you, try to be strong enough and you be showing sure that I have enough interest for my study. That's why I was first. I'm generally interested for the study, no interest for the step. So I got a scholarship that's a support that I was a limited student. Everything you do is there, then we take it place. So therefore, some universities, like I mentioned, Texas Tech Lava, they get big scholarships. Texas A also get good scholarships. So for example, if your tuition fee is six thousand dollars and your same fee is that for the completion is another twelve thousand, you need eighteen thousand per semester. So this eighteen thousand support is very big. So if you get some as scholarship, some as assistantship, and then if you from state and you take the loan or all these things, your eighteen thousand dollars per year should be half the semester should be available and that should be the support. So the way that some universities will not give this scholarship, go to the website, see how many percent of people get that, they have the statistical data. See that how many Indians got the visa, everything is there available. Really. So from that you can select a micro selection, right? First you make the broader selection of 20 universities, make scrutiny this ready out of this again. Next iteration, bring down this 20 to 10. Next iteration, leave this 10 to 5, that apply for 5 universities. Right? Which gives you more fine efficiency. That's the most criteria. So that you have decided to start. That's it. I am very good for some of this. Yes, I'm myself, Zipinor, and I'm from Korea student. My question is that uh, what is the most uh, important and uh, most important in demand field of study in Western for civil engineering? Uh, okay. Do we have a second place? I'm going to say that. Sure. Back section in depends on the state to state. If you ask about our, my state, Texas, right now it's very in transportation. This one. Because it's a developing state, and so we need a lot of roads to be constructed, a lot of transportation facilities that are If you, the same question if you are asking in New York, they will say possibly no, transportation will not be. We are already going to have. So that actually depends from state to state, but the ever great field is of course standard. Because the currents are reality. Really it's not too standard. So better the other image is not standard. So even though it is here we are, but I have to tell the two things. The ever green is structural. Because that everywhere you go, and every state that is structure and clean, whether it's the art retaining structure, whether it's the geotic structure, whether it's the water retaining structure, whether it's the building structure, grid structure, everything is so the most brilliant building structure. Uh, not everywhere. I'm talking in general. As a common state to state, I told you that every state has their own people. But common, common if I pass, I have said this right here. Or zero percent. That's why there is no question. Yeah, please go ahead. Sir, good evening, sir. My name is uh, Miranda Sekharove. I am currently in third semester of uh, in civil engineering. So, my question is that uh, I am, as I am belong to a very lower middle class family. So, can you share some success stories of students like us in USA who have done their degrees in PhD or masters, just like uh, just from who belong from the world with us. Very good question. You, they should be motivated and inspired by similar things. Some of you from civil engineering, have you know in that, while doing the test of specific gravity of civil, which liquid liquid you use? Chaos. Yeah, right? So when I teach this, I teach the list, this last course. When I teach this course, I say, how many of you know chaos? Unfortunately, most students know this thing. They are from US. They are not admitted to this. Then proudly I said that I have spent my first 10 years of study under kerosene oil only. Okay? Under kerosene oil only. And then today I was standing in a bus journey, I could not get the private medical. So some person was talking to something and I was talking to him. I told that he would enjoy the life. When I start, you start very from very scrap. Right? Me, I know that on the street while I was moving as a small child, 
There was a very small of cigarette with a small piece. I tested that. Okay? So you can imagine that what type of school and college I attended my childhood. Then I said that there is a plane of marbles, marble place, something I can use to play in the child. So everything I tested. So obviously, if you ask this question, uh, after my class 11th grade, when I was studying in the college, studying in college, I was going from a place I used to go by, walking around six, seven miles, and then I was not having any sight in the first year. I used to go by walking around one and a half hour. It used to be. Those who are from Karimbe, it was towards the Langai side, and I was there staying. So after that, of course, great period, one after another, one after another, one after another. So obviously, when uh, I was coming by the flight from Houston to Doha, that is the International Airport of Qatar, it took 15 hours. So many people are getting frustrated with 15 hours, 15 hours. Yeah. And the person in my engineering life in Nakula, I see, when I used to go to Vietnam, I see that code. It used to take me three days, three nights. Why should I be frustrated by 16 hours journey by flight? So we are actually, our generation, not only me, Mr. Partha is my classmate from Israel. Dr. Perry is my classmate. Dr. Rahman is not my classmate for a long time ago. If you ask everyone, how was your childhood? Nobody will reply that I came to the Golden School. I made my future here. I made my destiny here. So there is no barrier that whether you are from middle class, it is only the dream which takes a person to the high level. Your ambition, your dream, if you are fixing the ambition, your dream, uh, since you asked me this question, I go out of the track. How many of you know that one of the renowned successful chief minister of Mahastra, Abdurrahman Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman, yeah, Abdurrahman. How many of you have heard the name of Ayan Abdurrahman? Two times he became the chief minister of Mahastra. And one time he was a defense minister under Narashim Haram. Ayan Abdurrahman, when he was a defense minister, I was president of Bombay, I was a faculty of Bombay. I was witnessing this program. Ayan Abdurrahman started the speech by saying, this is the school where I used to be there. When I was studying in my high school, I was the son of a Hafiz. Hafiz means, how many of you know meaning of Hafiz? Those who recite, remember the Quran. And they teach in the school, Madrasa. Madrasa, the Sarah is very poor. So I was the son of a that person. And I had a dream to complete Barangla from London. So when I came in this hostel, that was the hostel of Anjabal Islam. They had a mercy on me and I came in this hostel. I was staying in this hostel. They used to provide the food for two times. I was not having money for breakfast. And when my classmate used to ask me to come for breakfast, I used to say I don't have hunger. I saw people to eat a miracle special. I was going to tell you that my class is still going to go. My book is not here. And then when I was having the ambition to become the Barak Lokishno Hastede, my classmates used to laugh. But one of the men of Bombay, rich man, he doesn't have a son. Someday he came to know that I am an ambition. He came to me and he offered me that if you are really interested, I can sponsor him. That is the story I hear about. So where there is a will, there is a way finally proved by him. And he was in front of me, he was giving all the statement. So we say, I don't think money or these things are wrong with You can manage. You are strong with all truth. And I told all the witnesses that present me. Ask anybody in Malaysia time? Any one of them? Yes, that was a good question you asked. Maybe the answer was very good. Anybody else have any other questions? Sir. Yes, go ahead, please. Sir, my question is, what is the, uh, what are the scopes of civil engineering in highly developed places like New York, sir, London, etc.? Obviously, there is a big scope, but what I told that those states which are already under the constructed full phase, there is only maintenance point of view, there are any limits. But from construction point of view, what, which is already fully developed, say, less opportunities. So the same like Texas, as I told, fully developing state now. Every structure is coming, everything is coming. So similarly, many states, only Texas I was talking, many states. Louisiana is there, it's coming, then <laughs> Cincinnati is there, many states are there, all this development is going to take place, and then you can always have a good opportunity. Only few states like this, New York, which is already populated, Michigan, they may not have much more opportunity, they may not have 
Out of 50 states, only three or four states doesn't need much more. But they will have 47 states, 46 states yet. So this is such a big country, big the area of US is four times bigger than India. So just think about that, how much requirement of 70 years. One or two states have that. And more than in US, the change in the house is not a big deal. Anytime you will get both the next country. Next state, sorry, next state, anytime. You could change that state very frequently, they don't want it. We are, of course, very stubborn. But original Americans, those who are, they have a pleasure going to stay here, selling the house, buying the house in a new state, going to new place. One way to life. So that's not a big deal. Anywhere, if you feel that the state is not comfortable to work with, next day you may want to buy the state very comfortable. The life is today is safe. That's why nobody bothers to the United States. Does it answer your question? What I was telling, maybe I'm not telling this. But after 10 years, obviously, uh, maybe it's like 10 years in close. If within the 10 years you are coming out, you get it on. For your whole life you've got that job, it's not only for 10 years, right? So you may think after 10 years, what is the time? You don't have to say that after my lifetime, till I go to the grave, what's the most scope of selling, and that's not a good question. Think about only 10 years. Yes, 10 years scope is there. Within 10 years, you get a job, you get agreed with the field, you have enough experience, and then you can one after another job, obviously, you can go. After 10 years, if someone is coming, you think about his case after 10 years, but even within the 10 years part. So why should we think what is the scope of 10 years? That's I don't think it is a good issue. Okay? Yes, anybody else has any other question? You said when your visa was rejected for the first time. Uh, but my question was ki, why not India? What made you to study abroad or go abroad? Even my visa got rejected two times when I applied for the bachelor's at uh, University of Arizona. I was influenced by a group of lecturers during my 11th grade. And I thought, ki, okay, USA, and I will go there, and I will enjoy my life, and I will do that thing, these things. But then comes the actual problem, the financial aid. Like, uh, I, I'm unable to uh, provide the financial fund, but uh, as you said, ki, if there is a way, there, there is a way. And how did you manage your financial uh, status or the funding for masters or the degree you are going to do in USA? And, it was two questions, sir, but uh, first is why USA, why not India? And another one is how did you manage your funding? For Basically, what you asked, we are in the same world. Your visa is ever rejected, my visa also got rejected. That was the story. So, my rejection was uh, when I actually applied for my PhD program. I got in the good university, Texas a and uh, they actually take a counselor, and there was a consultancy at that time known as Visu Consultancy, total more road than he. They used to offer all this counseling service by somebody. They used to make the papers ready, these are the papers everything needed. I didn't bother of this about this, so what I have done, some form of scholarship I do, that's not sufficient to support by. So I took a sponsorship from one of my relatives from UK, my father is not a big shot, so one of my relatives from UK, their sponsorship was written something like, he has written that, he has written that uh, I am the owner of this uh, establishment, that restaurant, this, there, something like this. I was not knowing this. So with this sponsorship I went. Then the counselor asked me that, how much money he has in the bank? I told him, I don't know all these things. That's all. That is that. They don't go for further argument. Sorry. We are unable to just give, get back my take my visa and everything possible. Under which which body works? Let me talk some policy of US time. Our PhD book, like if you are applying in state, if you are from Texas, and if you are applying in the University of Texas, say per semester is $6,000. If you are from out state, it's in the US itself. From other state, you are applying in the state of Texas, your fee will be 12000 if you are an international student, the fee will be 24,000. How much? 6,000 and 24,000. 24,000 is your just university's fee for the semester. Take another 6,000 for your uh, expenditure for living, for housing, another 6,000. So another 12,000. 24 plus 12, how much? 36,000. One semester. 
What is $36,000 in, in, in India? Not less than 30 lakhs, okay? For one semester, 30 lakhs. For two semesters, 60 lakhs. One year. For four years, how much? 2.4 crores. Right? <coughs> My father was also not able to afford this much. Many fathers are not. So if we have 2.4 crores, you can support that I have the financial capacity. That's why I told bachelors from Ambani's family. Right? From those families, bachelors. 2.4 crores, how many will be able to? Two fathers, whose mothers and fathers both are university professors. Can they afford for them one kid 2.4 crores? No, it's difficult to see four hour years. So maybe at the region, we have a secret policy. We get the rich people from Middle East. Okay? Who can come? We have an international university in Middle East. So that they are the rich people. They come in US, deposit the money to our universities. And US, in support of that, US provide to the US population. Like my child have 6,000 fees, for example. Out of 6,000 federal aids you give for undergraduate study, 3,000 free, I don't have to pay 3,000. Only 3,000 which is left, they will be subsidized and subsidized both for my sons because they are US citizens. So those who are from outsider, if you are coming from Bachelor, the prime thing is that you come with money. Give money to US. Right? For masters, all the same thing. So that's why I told the Bachelor so many people can dream who are from a very big family. In an average family, by looking to the skin color, when I was appearing for my TOEFL exam in Delhi for the first time, I saw the people who are sitting around me in US, in Delhi, all are white color. They are the royal family of India. And the lady which was checking this IDs of the emission test and everything, she was asking everyone why is it Okay. Just see the style of the photos. She realized that this man is not from the royal family. She's changed the record. Even though I was looking for the highest English exam. But she, this was the thing she was feeling that having the feeling for me like this. That's how this all that has come here. So actually And sharing his knowledge with us today. Your insights have been really valuable and led truly to the lessons that we have witnessed with the today. I would like to thank Dr. Gurbhya sir for uh, and at the entire training and placement sale team to uh, organize it and invite this session. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank all the audiences for your active participation. And I, did, uh, I would like to uh, request everyone to please be seated for a photo. Sir, Thank you so much and I really appreciate your enthusiasm. I hope some of you will be future either in Texas or over the USA, and you will glorify the name of this experience.